Reporting a rare bird carries some responsibility. Correct identification becomes infinitely more important. Dale? Some reports may even be significant enough for publication in various ornithological... Dale? Yes, Loretta. The bird? What are you going to do about the bird? Well, uh, identification is usually a holistic approach. The gestalt, and, uh, deduction of its field markings, um, and because of its similarity to two other species, it's all very complicated. I'm talking about the bird in the refrigerator. You mean in the crisper? Uh-huh. Get it out, Dale. Well, I would love to, Loretta. I really would. But that bird is evidence. I have to take it down to Dick Hodges at the Audubon Society for confirmation, but this could be very big, Loretta. Very big. You know, I don't really care what you do with it. I want it out of the fridge. Dad! Loretta, the bird has to remain chilled. And... Loretta, I'm beginning to think that you don't give a shit about that light-footed clapper rail in there. Mm. Dad, do you ever wish that birds didn't fly? Benny, this is an adult conversation. Loretta, it's a federally protected bird. And what's really going on here? I am drained, Dale. They'd be easier to look at if they're all flightless, like a kiwi bird. Uh, son, a kiwi bird is more like a rodent. It roots around Dale. in the dirt all day. It, any bird that lives in a Dale. hole in the ground. It's an ignoble bird, Benny. Dale, I want that bird out of the crisper. You wouldn't have to work so hard to see a kiwi. That's all I'm saying. It's an ignoble bird, son. <laughs>